Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a corn on the cob cake. I'm starting out with some rectangular layers of cake, and I'm gonna guess that they're about eight inches by two inches, and I stack them with a layer of green buttercream between the layers. This only works with green buttercream. No, I'm just kidding. You can fill your cake with whatever you'd like. I'm carving the cake into the shape of a skinny ear of corn. Skinny because when I add the chocolate corn kernels, the cake ear will bulk up a bit, making it the perfect size. Next, I cover the entire cake in a thin layer of buttercream using a small offset spatula. You can see here that I'm having a little trouble. <laughs> the darn cake keeps rolling over. Uh, so I'm just gonna let it go, I'm gonna ice the cake, and then I'm gonna make sure that it's in the proper position once I'm done. You know, I've had an easier time icing a life-sized human cake than I'm having icing this little ear of corn. <laughs> I'm going to make the corn kernels out of modeling chocolate, so I need to color the modeling chocolate corn yellow, which is just regular yellow. I've got yellow and ivory modeling chocolate, and I'm starting with the yellow first. Here I have a food safe mold. It looks like it's meant to create like a pearl necklace or a pearl border of sorts, but we are going to use it to make corn kernels because one man's pearl necklace mold is another man's corn kernel mold. <laughs> that old saying. <laughs> I brush some cornstarch right into the mold to make sure that that chocolate pops out really easily. So I just roll out the modeling chocolate into a snake or what people in the art biz call a coil, <laughs> if you wanna get fancy. And then you just press it into the mold and I drag my finger across the top of the mold to clean up the edges a bit. Then you just pop it out. I made a few of these, including one that is made with the ivory color modeling chocolate. That way I have two tones of corn kernels on my corn on the cob cake. To turn these pearls into kernels, all I have to do is smoosh the chocolate strand. It's easy, and I love how the kernels wave a bit and the line becomes a little imperfect, because that's how real corn looks. Then I just place the modeling chocolate kernels onto the cake horizontally. It looks so cool. I love it. I'm adding a little more modeling chocolate at the end of the corn to make it taper a little bit more. And the tip of the corn is the only area where I added some individual handmade kernels. And that's because they tend to gradually get smaller towards the tip. And that mold is just too large. And then you just fill in any gaps until the entire cake is covered. I'm placing a circle of ivory modeling chocolate onto the thicker end of the corn, and then I'm just adding some texture to represent the stem. What's corn on the cob without butter? <laughs> well, this is modeling chocolate butter that is cut into a slightly imperfect square. I took a lighter to the chocolate butter and that adds just a little bit of an extra melty effect. It also makes it a bit shiny, which is perfect. And there you have it, a corn on the cob cake. I love the two-tone kernels. I think that's my favorite part. It's a good detail. Now let's cut it. If you like this cake, let us know by liking this video. We post a new video every week, so subscribe to this channel right now so you don't miss a single cake.